Props and Locks on Fox 10 is brought to you by FanDuel Sportsbook. Make every moment more. Welcome into a Turkey Day edition of Props and Locks brought to you by FanDuel. I'm Sierra Santos. Today we are setting the table for your Thanksgiving feast of football, but we are going big first. The marquee matchup of the week 12 with play NFC playoff picture ramifications. Let's talk Rams at Packers. Two teams with only three losses on the season. Los Angeles is coming off a bye week and got a much needed break after losing two straight. Meanwhile, Green Bay fell to the Vikings last Sunday and have dropped two of their last three. This is really a pick em game. Packers are a one point favorite at home. Over under sits at 48. Let's bring in our betting bestie, Ben Stevens, host of the morning after on Sports Grid, who's got a different backdrop, but still dropping all that knowledge. Ben? Hey, Sierra. Yeah, like the Arizona Cardinals, who will be spending some time with family this Thanksgiving weekend on the bye. I am home at my West Coast studios, AKA my childhood home. Because the Cardinals are on the bye, although Arizona is a minus 440 favorite now to win the NFC West, the LA Rams coming off of a bye, looking to make up some ground in that division. And the Rams, a slight underdog as it stands in Lambeau Field on Sunday. The Rams coming off a of bye just four and six against the spread so far this year, but they've only been an underdog once before Sierra, and they won that game outright, beating the Tampa Bay Buccaneers by 10. The Green Bay Packers, 9-2 and two ATS, the best record against the spread in all of the NFL. Two NFC contenders should be a great game on Sunday afternoon. Absolutely. Now staying in the NFC West, the Niners opened up as three-point favorites against the Vikings this week. San Francisco going for three dubs in a row. They are minus 176 on the money line. And Minnesota, as I mentioned, coming off a big win over the Packers. The over-under on this one is at 49 points, Ben. Sierra, two teams contending right now for two NFC wildcard spots. Minnesota, a favorite once again to make the postseason, minus 110 on FanDuel. San Francisco inching closer, even money, plus 100 for the 49ers to make the playoffs right now. The trends in this game all favor Minnesota. The Vikings, a perfect 5-0 against the number when booked as an underdog, including three outright winners, including the last two weeks, for the Minnesota Vikings and the Niners, just a three and five team against the number when booked as a favorite this year. I'm taking the Vikings in points. Monday night football, Seattle on the road to play the Washington football team. Uh, you got to think that they're eventually going to get a win. It's Russell Wilson. After all, Washington is slim point one point favorite at home. How is that going to stick though, Ben? Sierra, here is my tip. For this game, monitor the line movement because we have so much football this week, including the three games on Turkey Day. Any line movement we see early before the Monday nighter will indicate which way the wise guys are going on this game. Washington, a slight favorite right now, only one and two against the spread as a favorite. Here's what you need to know about Seattle. The Seahawks have the highest under percentage in all of the NFL. 89% of Seattle's games this year hitting to the under. They've only had one over. It was an overtime Week number two against the Titans, you might be looking to that total. We are serving up a full plate of Thanksgiving Day football where you should lay down your money after you throw down on your turkey. Welcome back to Props and Locks, brought to you by FanDuel Sportsbook. There's a lot to be thankful for, especially when that three game parlay lines your pockets and the spread isn't just on your dining room table today. Let's get to the schedule of Turkey Day showdowns, death taxes and Bears Lions on Thanksgiving. The main course is the Raiders and Cowboys at 2:30, and dessert will be served up by the Bills and Saints. The Lions have ruled out Jared Goff for this morning. This isn't really the quarterback matchup anyone has asked for. The Lions are underdogs at home plus three. Plus 138 on the money line. We got to bring back Ben Stevens for, for some more insight into the appetizer. Yeah, Sierra, the start to our Turkey Day festivities in the NFL could be a very ugly game. It might be Tim Boyle starting at quarterback for the Detroit Lions. It most likely will be Andy Dalton for the Chicago Bears. Favored in this game, but look at that total, 41 and a half. Both of these teams have played seven of their 10 games so far this year to an under. It's going to be ugly on Thanksgiving morning. Might the Lions get their first win of the year? I'm not so sure. An ugly football game for this Big Ten fan. That's a thing of beauty. 
Las Vegas is playing on the holiday for the first time since 2013. Cowboys are big favorites, minus seven and a half, Ben. Yeah, Dallas has been very impressive so far this year, Sierra. Did not cover last week in a huge game inside Arrowhead Stadium on Sunday, but still the second best record against the spread in all of the NFL. Eight and two this year. This will be one of the biggest spreads they have been favored by all season long. The Raiders trying to snap a three-game losing skid. They have not covered in three straight. The last two as underdogs. If I was feeling away in this game, I would look to back the home team in the star, the Dallas Cowboys. Bills and Saints playing each other for the first time in a prime time matchup. Saints are underdogs at plus six, even though they're at home. Yes, here the Buffalo Bills looking to get back on track. They have won three of their last six games. It's been a mixed bag, but they've only covered once in the last five games, and that was against the New York Jets. They have been a favorite in all but one game this year, laying four and a half points on the road in prime time to end out Thanksgiving in the nightcap against the New Orleans Saints. A lot of trends would back the Saints here. Four and one against the spread as an underdog. That only cover they did not have last week against the Eagles should be an exciting game to end out your Thanksgiving festivities. All right, Ben. Now, as you at home get ready to gobble down, he is going to tell us which side dishes you should be picking. We're back after a quick timeout. Welcome back to Props and Locks, brought to you by FanDuel Sportsbook. Here on Props and Locks, we're thankful to you guys at home for tuning in each and every week. And as we navigate through this crazy world of sports betting, I am personally thankful to the guy that makes it all so fun, my buddy Ben Stevens. And we always bring you the locks in our final segment. So what is your best bet for today, Ben? Sierra, this is my best lock of the entire year. The Stevens household does Thanksgiving very well. My favorite main course for Thanksgiving, a lot of people hate on turkey, not me. I help my dad in the basting process. It is near and dear to my heart. My favorite main course, it's turkey. I still love it. I personally love me a good pumpkin pie with some Cool Whip, uh, not whipped cream, Cool Whip. So Ben, I'm dying to hear what your best bet at the dessert table is. Sierra, my favorite dessert without question comes this time of year. It's really my favorite dessert in the entire world, but I only have it around the holidays. That's pecan pie, pecan pie, whatever you want to say. Put a little whipped cream on top, make it fun, make it exciting. Pecan pie for the win. Uh, you're a fool for that one, Ben. All right, happy Thanksgiving out there to everyone. Enjoy the game right here on Fox 10. We're back with an all-new Props and Locks next week at 515. And as always, check your FanDuel app for the latest lines. Until next week, take it easy.